Hello, my name is Richard. I go by Ultra by Rich, and this is Ultra by Rich Meta Ads. In this session, we're going to talk more about the new Facebook Advantage Plus audience. And this feature, you may have already noticed it in your account when creating a new ad set but it also pops up when you have an old ad set with the old audience configuration. And I'm a huge fan of the old audience configuration, so I'm not saying you need to switch everything over right now, but we have seen some early success with using the Advantage Plus audience setup. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what I do and why I do it, and explain a little bit of the thought process behind it to help you optimize your own ads to make uh, your business a little bit more successful with Facebook advertising. So first and foremost, let's talk about this feature because they kind of slowly introduced it over the last 30 days. It's September 2023, and uh, I think I first saw it around August. So again, they've been onboarding it, and there's some good reasoning here. They have already seen a 13% lower cost per product using this. Now notice they're saying catalog sales, so you're still taking advantage of another feature they have called Catalog Advantage. Plus, and you know, it's utilizing two different data endpoints there to get some of those increases. But again, paying attention that it's increasing overall or decreasing overall costs, which is helpful. Again, 7% cost on website conversions, another great hook we use all the time. And then 28% lower click on lead or landing page views. And so lead's a big one because we're not really interested in the landing page view, but we are for sure interested on the lead. So if you hover over here, it actually says for Advantage Plus audience targeting, a statistic simulation framework gave a 99.9 .9 statistical confidence that Advantage audience outperformed regular targeting for driving cost-effective clicks, leads, or landing page views. So again, reading the documentation, being aware of the features coming out, I think, honestly, you're gonna rank higher with your ads purely because you're using this feature set. And that's what we've seen immediately out of the gates. Again, we have a customer that did a product catalog sale set up with us and we actually turned this on and we saw drastic like tens of thousands of more impressions and conversions than we would have before. We had some customers actually use website conversions, same thing. We actually saw a little bit higher than 7%. And then again, this 28%, that's not a joke. We saw a massive lift in lead increase all because we turned on this feature and made sure our campaigns actually were using it properly with the rest of our setup. Again, we've got pixels integrated. We've got, if it's a Shopify instance, we've got a catalog set up. So you can see having everything plugged in, that's why it's really important. So now real quick, I wanted to mention to you our done for you Facebook ads. There's a link in the description for a free one-on-one -on -one session where we actually go through your business and talk about how we can optimize and build out your campaigns. It's free to do. Definitely recommend it. Let's get back to it. We've read it, we've seen it, we've talked about it. Let's see what the old one looks like. You can see right here, it'll give you the option to switch, but we're not. We're just gonna look how there's a custom, a location, an age, a gender, okay? That's pretty much it. And then you have an option to save it. So when you switch to it, you'll get two different sections. So this top section is kind of like your core parameters, like the must haves of your business. So if you're a local business, you're gonna to wanna to put in your address here. And we'll just use Draper, Utah. And you're gonna to wanna to do about a 15 to 25 mile radius, depending on how dense your population is. And then you'll notice I got about a 500,000 plus population in this one. I recommend you changing the minimum age to 25. There's a whole segment in there that does not buy. Again, we're, this is a lead campaign. You're trying to generate business. And then you'll notice I do have English US selected. Now exclusions can be great. Again, more data points that you can provide. So let's do an ultra by rich and we're going to exclude everybody that's already been to the website. I have a different video on how to set this audience up. I highly recommend it because you can use it to target or exclude in this case, people that have already interacted with your brand. We want to target all new leads within this 25 mile radius. So including this as an exclusion actually helps us do that. Just know that the data on the right is going to go a little ski wampus. That's okay. Let it do its thing kind of ignore that after here. If you wanna see what this data looks like, you can actually remove your exclusion and this data will repopulate. Again, this is always with a grain of salt, the data they have providing changes minute by minute, hour by hour. 
Okay, and then the other recommendation you'll see is the Advantage Plus audience underneath. So now this is like a fine tuning moment of, hey, you've given us a 25 minimum age. You've said, I don't want anybody that's been to your website and I want them to speak English. So good start, but give us a little bit more. So here's where you could actually define the age and you can see I dropped it 25 and I dropped it from 64. We're testing this new 54 and I've already seen great results with it. We're excluding no genders. We want everybody. And then in this example, we're doing a cold everyone approach. So we're not adding any detail targeting, but in the event you were, you would have a cold everyone in one ad set. And then the second ad set, this is where you'd have the exact same audience set up, except you would add in some of the detail targeting. So in my example, we're just going to type in marketing. And this is where we found, I'd say two to three have been very successful, but they have to be very niche. So you want them very specific into what you're doing and what you're talking about and what your ad copy is saying. But we have found that if you add two or three together, it actually helps increase conversions. So you'll notice we've got business, marketing, and advertising. Pretty crucial to somebody who like myself who offers business consulting, right? Uh, I'm helping increase your advertising. I'm helping increase your marketing. I'm helping increase your business. These are three topics. And then my actual ads going to be talking about that book, a session with me, click my website. You can see my call to actions are going to be very specific. My ad copy, you're going to maybe be an image of my face or a video of me talking, but you can see all very targeted, very specific. But now we have the second audience built out and it's targeted three different, and we didn't have to create different ad sets and we're not overly populating it because again, it will automatically find your audience using, and if you can see, this is kind of a cold everyone approach. And then it's going to start prioritizing what you've given here over everybody else. So the more information you can give it, and in this context, I think they're like saying, hey, we're gonna be a little bit looser about this. So if you're not mad about that, use this new feature and we'll be able to distribute it to more people. And that's really, if you look at it, I think it's a feature set for their platform. They're able to distribute more ads to more people if they can get you to agree to a little bit looser setup. Anyways, that's kind of the latest and greatest. Uh, definitely recommend taking a look at it and giving it a try for yourself. Thank you for watching this clip. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a comment, drop a like, and make sure you subscribe.